You can attach your lavalier mic to so many different objects that will hide your mic and at the same time will remain the high quality of the sound. Today we'll show you 5 creative ways that will help you get rid of the mic and the shot because let's be honest, it looks weird and will help you get the best sound possible. Let's go! Hey, what's up? My name is Arthur Weiner and to be honest, I rarely use a lavalier mic when I record a video. I prefer a shotgun mic, but in some cases it's just easier using this tiny little mic because you can attach it basically anywhere. And of course we're talking about the wireless microphones. I'm using the Holly Landlark 150 that comes with the charging case, the two transmitters and one receiver. And also the two lapel microphones. But in this video we'll need one receiver, one transmitter and one lapel mic. Can you guess where the mic is right now? It's not on my body, it's actually on one of the objects you see in the shot. <laughs> yep, I've hidden the mic in this plant. Here it is. It's a fake plant, obviously, and it's very useful for hiding mics here because you can place it anywhere. Let's say you're filming an interview or a dialogue scene at the table. Grab a fake plant with a non-transparent face, drop the transmitter inside and tape the mic to one of the leaves or to the stem. You can also paint the mic to a green color so it matches the color of the plant. And the best part about it is that you can leave it in the frame. The mic is pointed straight to the mouth, giving you a clean audio. But keep in mind that this mic is sensitive to the sounds around it, not just your voice. As you can hear, my room is not perfect for this mic, you can hear a little bit of echo. The same thing goes with any other plant. A size of a plant, of course, is up to you. Let's say you're sitting on a chair. This time you can use a bigger plant, but make sure the mic is not too far away from you. Our goal is to have the mic as close to the mouth as possible. The fruits are helpful in this case too, but I suggest using a banana or a black grape, because it's easier to hide the mic there. No, seriously, it is. <laughs> Tape the mic to the tip of a banana or if it's not an option for you, you can cut the tip and make a long cut for the entire banana where you can hide the wire. Then hide the transmitter behind some other fruits or vegetables. And here you go, you've hidden the mic successfully. Almost in every scenario you can place a cup on a table or hold a, <laughs> or hold a cup in your hand. Tape the mic to the inner side of the cup and tape the transmitter to the bottom, so you won't get any shaking sounds. But don't place the mic too deep inside or you might get this weird robotic sound. See, that way it sounds much better. So you get the point, be creative and use your everyday objects to hide a lavalier mic. Hide a lavalier mic with the shape of an object. What do you mean, Arthur? I mean, look around for any shape that may hide a lavalier mic. It can be a painting, for example. I got the picture from Ikea with the jungle picture and the panther is like waiting for us to hide the mic on top of it. Brilliant idea! <laughs> it's obvious to tape the wire around the frame and hide the transmitter on the back side. So if you're shooting a scene where two characters are looking at the picture and talking to each other, you can make a shot with the characters and the picture in one frame. Perhaps my favorite way to hide this mic is using a pen. I found the three types of pen for this. With these two we'll need just the caps. One cap with the holes in it. Here you can put the mic straight inside and mount it to the edge of your pocket. With this cap you can do it but you can rotate the mic and tape the cap to the inner side of your pocket. But my favorite is the third automatic pen. Unscrew it and put the mic inside the top part of the pen. Then mount this thing back onto the top and now you can easily place it inside your pocket. Invisible mic and clean audio. Done. The color might help you with the problem as well. Of course it works best with the black color of your clothes. Depending on which type of color you have, you might place the mic on top of the color or under the color. I prefer using the second option because you can completely hide the mic. But it's still a good solution if you don't have any other options. And if you wear a shirt with the buttons, you can hide the mic inside the buttons. The bigger buttons you have, the easier for you to hide the mic. Accessories are very helpful in this case too. If you or your actor wear glasses, you can mount the mic on the right or left side. My glasses are not so suitable for this kind of scenario, but if your frame is black and thicker, it might work really well. Also, if you're shooting an interview or a dialogue scene, it's easy to hide the mic on the other side of your glasses, that is hidden from your camera. The next one is pretty popular, but it's one of my favorites. Use a cap or a hat. Tape the mic to the bottom part of the sun visor. Now it's like a mini boom pole with the mic 
pointing straight to the mouth. And make sure that the mic is pointing towards your face. Using a hat might not be as efficient, but it still works. So using accessories might not be a great solution, but if you can use them, they will help you a lot with hiding your mic. Now, two more tips are coming, but before we get to them, let me know in the comments how often do you use a lavalier mic? And in which scenarios are you using them? Also, if this video is helpful to you, press the like button and subscribe gently so you won't miss more tutorials like this one. Electronic devices are all over the place nowadays, so it's pretty convenient to attach the mic to one of these devices. If it's a wide shot, you can attach the mic to your smartphone's backside and hold it in your hands while talking. You can also place it in your pocket or if it's a scene when you're talking to someone on your phone, it's just a perfect scenario. And you can do the same thing with a tablet, a laptop or a watch, but make sure that you're not moving too much to avoid the rustling sound. As a bonus tip, use the medical patch to attach the mic to your body. Place the mic to this small and soft piece of cloth and tape it to your body as tight as possible. Now here is before and after using the medical patch. The next tip is specifically for the wireless microphones with this small transmitter with its own microphone. And the quality of this microphone is really, really good. And the cool part about it is that it has one magnetic side. This means that you can attach it to the objects like a spoon, a knife, a handle, a table leg, a mic stand and so on. So if you're in a situation where you can't use a shotgun mic, you can't use a lapel mic with this long wire, just attach this small transmitter to the object that is close to the sound source. Let's say you have a scene where someone is looking for something under the table. Well, you can mount the mic under the table like so and get a pretty good audio. If you want to learn more about filmmaking or editing, check out one of these videos. Also hit the like button and subscribe gently and I will see you next time.